In this HTML and CSS tutorial, I will teach you that how you can create frequently asked questions section on your website using pure HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So hey what's up guys, welcome to Find Gap YouTube channel and before starting the video, I request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our regular videos. Without any delay, let's start. So friends, first of all, here you can see that I have two files. The one is style.css and the second is index.html and to the right side, you will able to see the output. So first of all, I will create a basic HTML structure here and I will write the page title like frequently asked questions and then we need to link our style.css file with our this HTML code. That's it. Next in your body element, create a div with class wrapper and create a p element here in this p element i will type the beginning of a new asset class next create an h1 element here and here i will type frequently asked questions and i think here is my spelling mistake so i will copy and paste the correct spelling here and next after this i will create a div with class faq so basically this div will be a wrapper of our each frequently asked questions and next inside this i need to create a button with class accordion in this button first of all i will type some text like our first question what is karushi and after this in this button we need to display an i element here and in my this video i'm going to use font awesome icons so first of all we need to add them to add them open google and search here font awesome cdn click the first link the website name is cdnjs.com and from here you have to click on copy link tag paste this tag inside your head section and because now we have added the cdn now we can use font awesome icons in our project so to see the font awesome icons library you can open the google and type here font awesome icons click on this link and here you can search for your desired icon basically we have to create an i element and give a class to this like fa solid fa chevron down and in the output currently we have no icon here okay we have this arrow down icon you can see here let me zoom in my screen a little bit so this is the icon that we want to display on our output and next after this button element create a div with class panel inside this create a p element and here i will type some dummy text so here you can see the output i have write the answer of our first question so this will be the code for our each frequently asked question currently i will just copy and paste it one more time and here i will change my question but later in the end of this video i will just copy this complete code and paste this three more times because uh, for an example in this video we will display just five frequently asked questions you can display any number of frequently qu asked questions in your website the javascript and style.css code will remain the same so the second question i will type here how does it work and in this paragraph i will type lorem ipsum dummy paragraph here that's it we have done with our html code next open the style.css and first of all type here star padding zero margin zero and box sizing border box so these two properties will remove the default margin from our each html element and next we have to use a google font in our project so first of all we need we need to add this open the google and search here google fonts click on the first website and from here you can click on fonts it will display you the available fonts here you can search for your desired font i will type here roboto so i'm going to use this font in my project to add this just click on this this is the preview of our font and next scroll up and i'm going to select select regular 400 just click on this and next click on view selected family icons to the top right and I will remove this pop-in. Just we need our Roboto font. You need to copy this style link. Just copy this link and paste this link inside your style.css. That's it. And next, simply copy this font family property and paste this element here. This font family property will be applied to our each element. You can see that the fonts of our each HTML is changed and these icons are, uh, these elements are looking better than before. 
नेक्स्ट कॉपी दिस रेपर क्लास पेस्ट दिस क्लास हेयर एंड टाइप मैक्सिमम वेट सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट एंड मार्जिन ऑटो सो दिस टू प्रॉपर्टीज विल अलाइन आवर कंटेंट इन द सेंट्रल पोजिशन ऑफ आवर स्क्रीन नेक्स्ट कॉपी दिस रेपर क्लास पेस्ट हेयर एंड कॉपी दिस पी एलिमेंट एंड पेस्ट हेयर विद दिस साइन इट मीन्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू द स्टाइल दैट वी विल राइट इन साइड दिस ब्रैकेट विल ओनली अप्लाइड टू दिस पी एलिमेंट इफ यू विल रिमूव दिस सिंबल फ्रॉम हेयर देन द स्टाइल दैट यू विल राइट देयर विल अप्लाई टू ईच पी एलिमेंट इन साइड दिस रेपर क्लास बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू असाइन दिस स्टाइल टू ओनली दिस पी एलिमेंट दैट्स वाई आई हैव यूज दिस सिग्नेचर so after this i will type here comma simply i will copy these words paste them here and change this p element to h1 element you can see that we have create an h1 element here that's why i have typed this h1 element here and inside this i will type margin 1.5 rem and 0 so it will create a 1.5 rem margin from top and bottom and right and margin would be zero and type here text align center so you can see that our text is in the center position of our screen next simply copy these words and paste them here and type letter spacing 3 pixel you can see now our this heading is looking better than before and next we have to move to our main style just simply copy this according class paste here you can also copy this faq class before this to maintain the hierarchy but the purpose of, of this video is to learn that how we can create that type of design so i will type here background color white color rgba 000 which is a color code for black color and here i will type 0.8 next type here cursor pointer so when user will hover our pointer will look like this font size 1.2 rem width 100% so you can see that now it have 100% of width and uh, next type here padding 2 rem from top and bottom and 2.5 rem for from right and left and next type here border none it will remove the default border from our buttons outline none transition 0.4 second so when user will hover on these buttons our background color of these buttons will be changed a little bit so that color will be took 0.4 seconds to change that's what the purpose of this transition property is next we want we want to align this title to the left side and we want to this align this icon to the right side to do this just simply type here display flex and justify content space between now you can see that our this text and icon will look like this next type here align item center to align them in a same line vertically and in the last type here font weight bold that's it next i have zoom out this but i think i need to zoom in a little bit next copy this i element from here paste this element here and before this copy this according class and paste here here type font size 1.6 rem you can see the font size of our icon and next we have to type here dot active class colon dot just copy this and paste here colon hover and type here background color type this color code to get the same results so when user will mouse hover the background color of these buttons will be changed a little bit next we have to give style to this p element to do this simply copy this panel class and paste this class here and after this copy this p class and paste this class here and type color rgba 000 which is the color code for black color and type here 0.7 so you can see the color of our paragraph and next type here font size 1.2 rem and line height 1.4 that's it next copy this panel class and paste here and type padding 0 pixel from top and bottom and 18 pixel from right and left and we need to change it a little bit just remove this 18 pixel and type here 2 rem this 2 rem padding is for right side type here 2.5 rem this padding is for bottom side and next last type here 2 rem this padding is for left side next type here background color white and overflow hidden and background color just simply copy this same color code and paste here so that's it now you can see that we have made two frequently asked questions next simply copy this 
FAQ class, paste this class here and type border one pixel solid RGBA. Type here 003 times, which is the color code of black color, and opacity would be would be 0.2. So it will create a light border to our these questions. And next, just type here margin 10 pixel from top and bottom and 0 pixel from right and left. And in the last, just copy this frequently asked class and paste here and type here dot active border none. So you can see that I have created two active classes here. The first active class is this and the second I have also create create this active class and I have assigned this style to my this active class. Uh, we will toggle the active class using JavaScript in the coming moments. So that's where these active classes will be used. So suppose if I type here FAQ space active, so you can see that the border or of our each uh, this question will be removed and this task is done by JavaScript. So we have next in the last we have to write here JavaScript, which is easy, a little bit tricky, but that's easy. I hope you will understand this. So let's move towards JavaScript. So first of all, I will create a variable here. I'm going to name this a double C is equal to document dot get element by class name and inside this I need to copy this accordion class name and paste here put semicolon in the end basically this selector will select all elements with class accordion and store them as an array inside this a double C variable and next after this I am going to create an empty variable here which is I next type here for loop for I is equal to zero you can also declare this i variable at this position it's up to you next type here semicolon and type here i is less than a double c dot length so suppose if this a double c have five elements it means that our this for loop will execute five times and next we need to just type here i plus plus and inside this I'm going to type a double C I it means that suppose the loop is iterating first time and then the value of I would be zero. So this and big bracket zeros means that we are selecting our or we are going to implement some function on the first according button in our document. Next type here dot add event listener click and on this click we will call a callback function no parameter will be passed inside this function just i will type here semicolon so our this code will set an on click listener to our each button so what i need to do i will type here this this stand for on which button user have clicked then type here class list dot toggle and type here active and put semicolon in the end so when user will click on any of this button, the class active will be insert to that button. If user will again click on that button, toggle means that if element have an class active, then remove this. And if element don't have the class active, then just add that active class. So next type here, this dot parent element dot class list dot toggle active. So basically our this code, suppose user click on this button and this button have a parent element, this div. So JavaScript will add an active class here. So that's what the purpose of this line of code. And in the last, we just have to type here variable panel is equal to this dot next element sibling semicolon. So this means that suppose the user click on this button and next element sibling means that the element after this button which is this panel so that panel have stored on this variable now we can easily apply the style on that element so i will type here if panel dot style dot display is equal to block then what you need to do is just panel dot style dot display is equal to none so let's see what happened when user will click on this button uh it's not working so basically by default we have to add here one more line in the panel just type here display none so now you can see that there is an error i think 
okay friends i was thinking that there is an error in my code but it's not so i will in the last you just need to type here else simply copy this and paste this here and type here block so now you can see that our this question is working basically the the meaning of this code is if panel have a style of block here you can see that this panel have a style of block then user if click on this button just set the style of this blo block to none so when user will click on this it will hide and suppose our content is in this position and user have click on the button so then you can it means that if statement will check that if the panel after this button have a style block which javascript will not find that as a block level element so that's why javascript will change the style to block so friends i hope you must enjoy this video let me open this screen in in a big screen but before this we just need to copy this paste here six more times now you can see that this is working fine and let me insert some dummy content here so friends here you can see that i have add some dummy questions here i hope you must enjoy this video if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section and i will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and share this video with your those friends who want to learn web designing and finally thanks for watching